Hello my fellow YouTubers, it is N64GoldenEye007 here to bring you a tutorial on how to get a Nintendo 64 emulator on your computer, which will enable you to play games like GoldenEye007 online against other people. Um, we're going to start off with this website, GoldenEyeOnline.com, spelled like it sounds. Um, go there, scroll down a bit, and you get to step number one. Download the Nintendo 64 emulator. Um, now you're gonna want to download the first one. Click download, uh, and then save that. Save that download. Uh, I'm not really gonna do it, but save it, and save it to your desktop as like uh, Moopin 64 or something. Then once that's there, you're gonna want to right-click it and then click extract all or extract here something with extract in it that will put it into desktop okay and then when st once that's there you're gonna get something like this Moopin labeled Moopin 64 whatever you downloaded that's how it'll be whatever you saved it as you know okay so then uh, once you're in the Moopin folder you'd find Moopin 64 PP which is an application in the Moopin 64 folder um, once you're there you could double click that this will come up none of these games however will be there none of these will be there none of them will be there it will just be blank for you guys so what we're going to do right now now that you have your emulator or game system you uh... click input settings which will give you your controller configuration as you could see digital pad c buttons buttons analog stick it's all the same as the original nintendo sixty four controller and then to the right of those it'll correspond with your gamepad controls or keyboard controls whatever you want you know you could set it up to your liking um, but if you don't have a USB converter I would just leave it as it is and memorize the controls it gives you then you click save now you're gonna want to get your GoldenEye ROM or game uh, but to do this you simply go to coolrom.com once you're there you're here, okay. You click ROM files, then you can click Nintendo 64. Then once you're there, you can click G for GoldenEye. Then you click GoldenEye 007. Then it says your download link will appear in like 15 seconds, and then it starts counting down. Um, once it starts counting down, and once it's down to zero, it, uh, it'll come up. It'll say, "Download your file." So you click that click save not open save it save it as goldeneye 007 and save it to your desktop um, once you're there you're gonna have to do the same thing you did with Moopin unzip it or extract it or unpack it something along those lines right click it right click the actual file you just downloaded and extract it okay then you could delete the unextracted file that you downloaded for both Moopin and goldeneye Okay, once you're there, you're going to want to open back up into your Moopin emulator. Click Options, Settings, Directories, Add. Then you're going to want to find it. Now, there are some problems here. If you just extracted it, it'll say GoldenEye007.z64 will be your file on the desktop. You have to make a folder by right clicking, then going under New, then putting Folder. Go label that like Golden EI 007, you know, something like that. Okay, and then then you could drag your file into there. Okay. Um, so once it's in there, then you click Moopin, go back to your options, settings, directories, add. Then you find that folder you label Golden 007 with the .c64 file in it. Okay, uh, I don't know why I just X that out, but. So now you have your GoldenEye ROM. It should say GoldenEye 007 right here at the top. To get online, this is the last step I'm going to show you guys because this is all you need to know. Last step, click Utilities, Kyrlarea Client. Now here's where you can make your nickname. Mine's JBG 007. I use that for everything except for my YouTube now. Uh, connection setting, you got to change that to good. Um, your quit message could be anything you want. Mine's just my YouTube to get some uh, advertising. Uh, this should be set to two client. Um, none of these will be here. I set these to my liking. But master servers list, you click that, which is right there. Click that. This will come up. It'll start pinging servers. 
Um, I have my own server, which is the top one right here, JBGD007 is Gold 9 Perfect Dark Server. Um, location, Northeast Pennsylvania, NEPA, as you can see. Um, my ping is zero because it's operating from my home. Uh, yeah, so you guys, here's what you do now. You click it once, then you click Add to Local List, and it should show up right there. Or uh, So I would add that one, my server. I would add Sonic Cage Dome. I would add TPRI Calorlea server, and I would add Venezuela Calorlea server. Those are all very good. Um, then, if you want to go to the server, you click Sonic Cage Dome or whatever, and here you can see the three people right here lined up on the top right. All the people would be in this list, and their ping, and their connection setting, and their status if they're playing or idle. Then over here you could see uh, some information on the server. Um, and then down here is their game they're playing. They're playing Diddy Kong's Quest. Um, with an emulator different from yours though, SNES 9K. Um, so you cannot play them, A, because they're already in a game, B, because they have a different emulator, and C, you don't have this game in your list. So you would have to get a different emulator at the game, and you'd have to wait for them to stop playing. But I would just stick with what I've told you so far. Um, I look forward to seeing you on Gold Knight Online. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment or personal message me. Um, I will be on. Thanks. Bye.